so we can keep the uh, timetable moving, can I invite um, Mr. Richard Pye, who's the um, president of TILA, uh, the Taiwan International uh, Leather Association? Um, I would like us, as our Secretary General, Kevin, give a brief of the chart. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Kevin Cho. I am the Secretary of Taiwanese Leather in Taiwanese International Leather Association. I will do the first part of the presentation to share with you some numbers. Um, in our association, mainly the theme are the tanneries. Then we have uh, tannery members located not only in Taiwan, but they are in China, they are in Vietnam, Thailand, and expanding in other Asian countries. So we have um, 35 tannery members in Taiwan, 13 tannery members in China, and six tannery members in Vietnam, and three tannery members in Thailand. Further, there will be more investments in Bangladesh and also in Ethiopia. Then the next number I'll show you are the, um, the total number of uh, quantity productions among all these tanneries. Our leather industry concentrates on bovine upper and bovine splits. Then the, the third category is pigskins. Bovine upper, monthly production among all these centers are about 27 million square feet monthly. Bovine split, that consists of uh, suede, PU laminations, and the others are about uh, 25 million square feet per month. Pigskins, pigskins is a big, uh, area where we see a lot of growth in the last few years and uh, until this year there are about 10 million square feet of uh, production every month. The pigskins could be uh, pigskin new book, suede or lining. This chart shows the figures for Taiwan only because our uh, foreign trade, our Bureau of Foreign Trade can only give us the number out of Taiwan, not in other countries. For example, the 13 tenders in China would be included in Mr. Chen's um, total number, which he just uh, uh, gave to the audience. So, we see that uh, from 2013 to 2014, um, there was increase, there, there was a um, decrease in the production exported, but uh, there was increase in the dollar value uh, because uh, the price was very high in those moments. However, the pig skin, as I just mentioned, there were increases in the last few years. Then from 2014 to 2015, we have the figure from January until May. We see that uh, the bovine upper law reduced about 7% in weight and in US dollar in value uh, of exports. The split reduced even more. However, there are increases again in pigskin exports of weight and exports of uh, US dollar value. These are the numbers I will share with the audiences, and I will hand the microphone to our president, Mr. Richard Bai, who will share with you our market outlook. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. You know, as the chairman of the TRA, um, we, um, maybe all of uh, you already know, um, Taiwan tannery is uh, growing with the shoe industry. In the, we, you can say it's like the athletics um, brand 
Nike, Adidas, or you know, um, outdoors, um, Timberland, Wolverine, or Casuals like Clarks, Nine West. Majority of the you know 80 percent mm -mm, shoes are produced by the Taiwanese you know owners as managing shoe factories, and from those shoe factory is about another so 80 percent of the material purchasing from the Taiwanese mm -mm, tannery. This is the, the uh, reason. Passing 30 years. In, we, in Taiwan, we're facing a lot of the challenge environment, you know, especially as a, in intensive as a, of the labor shortage. So, 20 years ago, you know, majority of the shoe factory and the tannery, we moved to Thai, uh, China and Indonesia or Thailand. But uh, gradually, uh, from the, you know, China, it was a uh, um, water factories now will be, uh, you know, water uh, in the market. So, mm, mm, according to the increasing of the labor cost, more and more shoe factories from Taiwanese shoe factory owner, they are moving, you know, to Vietnam, Bangladesh, or some of them even going to Ethiopia. And in this mm, mm, case, you know, the sustainer uh, either from the you know, woven high or split or the pig skins. We also following the, you know, trend to do the, you know, quick delivery um, to cut the, you know, lead time to help working with our shoe industry together. So, mm -mm, more and more, um, we can see in, in tenories as a production where we move to Indone Vietnam, Indonesia, or some is the planning build up tenories in Ethiopia or Bangladesh. This is the trend. And mm -mm, we, we know from 2015 compared to 2014, the reason the market is, uh, the businesses from tenory is declined is based on the, you know, world market is a little bit slowed down. This is a lot of the fact. But uh, in, in more futures, we have strong confidence you know, because as a uh, Taiwanese as a tannery and uh, the shoe industry, we are working together. So hope you know everybody can have a time come to Asia or Taiwan to see us. Thank you very much.